What can you find when you climb on your quad at a Utah State Park and head out of the parking lot? More than you could possibly imagine. And we're showing you barely a glimpse today on At Your Leisure. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth. From there, we'll catch up with Stephen Human as he follows one family that shows you don't have to go far from home to find adventure. Lastly, Reagan Ledbetter will show you some alternatives to one classic camping staple. On the outdoors, right now with AYL. Woo, you want me to go faster? I better not, I might scare you. Hello everybody, we are out ATV in this beautiful area which isn't unique at all. We are on the Max Reed Trail right across the street from the Fremont Indian State Park and we're here with our good friends and we're just having fun. That's true. Now I would like to point out that what we were talking about this not being unique in Utah we are at Fremont Indian State Park. It is one of 18 parks where you can ride right from the state park out onto a trail system, which is why Utah's become known as the ATV capital of the world, because there are so many hundreds, literally thousands of miles connected to places like the state parks where you can take off and ride. In fact, let's find out a little bit more about it. There's 43 state parks, and out of those 43, 18 of them offer off-highway vehicle access. And when I say access, that means you can camp in any one of those 18 particular state parks and then ride right from that facility. For example, today we're here at Fremont. It's one of those parks that offers OHV or ATV riding experiences right out of the park. So if you're looking for a family destination, this is one of those 18 areas that we would encourage those families to come and visit. Fremont Indian State Park uh, came about because of the construction of I-70. During that, they found Indian artifacts in this area, an Indian village consisting of over 60 pit houses. We allow ATVs in and out of our park in all different aspects. We have uh, the trailhead where we're currently standing is the Max Reed Trailhead. It's right off the Paiute ATV Trail, which is a great trail to take your family up and ride. We offer uh, ATV access to the museum and to the campgrounds. While you're here at Fremont Indian State Park, we'd highly encourage you to go in and visit the museum. There's tons of artifacts that you'll see, and there's a lot of rock art on the rock faces right here behind us. Um, if you take the opportunity to hike the trails, you'll be able to see the rock art that was left by the Native Americans. We'd like to invite everybody to come out and do that and bring their family along. We've got some great camping opportunities here at uh, Fremont Indian State Park, but the invitation would be to come and see that. It's a great opportunity. Spend the day or the weekend here. It's, it's more than just a day visit. You look at the access that we've been able to, to create and generate in working with our federal land managing agencies and also the counties to make those community to community connectors and also you can ride from high ponderosa pine areas to low-lying desert areas and so you're going to experience all sorts of different type of trail opportunities that exist coming out of those 18 state parks that are OHV user friendly. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Well, that was, a, that was a little Tucker moment there, a little Tucker moment. <laughs> you know, Rhea, I gotta tell you something. This actually- Are you telling the entire world right now? Oh, that's all right, they can hear too. <laughs> you know, this is a, a kind of a special trail for me. And the reason it's special is that our very, very, very first episode of the Utah Trail, which is the precursor to At Your Leisure, uh -huh. we shot our travel adventure on this trail. I shot the story. And you know who is along with us? Who? Max Reed, the guy the trail is named after. So this was your very first travel adventure? Our very first travel adventure took place on this trail, and here we are again. Isn't that something? History repeats itself. You can say that again. <laughs> All right. Well, now we're going to go to today's travel adventure. And Steve Human is going to take us to one right in your own backyard. You know, I always heard the saying, they say it's lonely up on top, but there are all kinds of people here. <laughs> Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are riding the Max Reed Trail, and we've turned off at the saddle and come all the way up to a mountain peak 
here on the Paiute ATV trail system. I can look this way and the valley's down towards Marysville. I look over here, I see the peaks that are right along over by Fillmore, Utah. I look this way, I can see the peaks that sit up behind Salina and just over this way I can see Richfield and Salina in the valley. And there are all these trails that connect them all in between. This is the best ATV trail I think I've ever been on. And, and this is just the tip of the iceberg about what this trail system and the whole Richfield area is about. Let's kind of go look exploring. Central Utah is quickly becoming known as Utah's trail country. Uh, between the uh, Paiute, Gooseberry, uh, and the Great Western Trail systems, there's almost 2,000 miles of road and trail that can be accessed with ATVs, UTVs, motorcycles. We really enjoy not only the, the uh, proximity of the uh, trail system, being able to uh, just go right outside our front door, jump on an ATV and, and head out on the trail. But uh, we also enjoy the fact that the majority of the trails here in central Utah are intermediate in nature. Uh, they're very family friendly. You can go out with your family and not only enjoy a day of riding, but there's wildlife to see. You could stop at some of the lakes and go fishing. Just lots to see and do as you're out here. Uh, there's uh, old uh, mining history, ghost towns, those types of things. Uh, so it uh, really is an opportunity to, to do more than just ride. So we're standing in front of the Silver King Mine, and this is the old mine entrance. This is where all the little miners had to come down here, and they stayed down here all day. For safety reasons, they have now closed it in, but it basically looks like it went right around here, and the ore cars went right down into the mountain. And you know what? We're not the only outdoor adventure show that's up here. Adam Eagle's up here, and I think Chad's just about ready to photobomb him. Great hey, will, they, will you get out of my shot? <laughs> Chad Booth is oh. lost up here. We are at the Kimberly Lodge, and this used to be at one point a three story lodge. Well, it was an awful lot of fun riding, and you can see you get up here to this beautiful prize on top of the mountain. Yeah, that's true. We can see if we're on this peak. If we're on that peak, we couldn't see because we'd be in the fog. It reminds me of the scene from Paint Your Wagon where the clouds are rolling across the hilltops <laughs> and, and, and uh, the, the, the bar owner singing Mariah. Yes, and you sing that song really well. But I'm not going to here. You do it in the shower all the time. And, the, and these folks aren't standing in the shower with me, so <laughs> it's not going to happen. And thankfully. Let's go to, to Reese Stein. <laughs> All right, well, we're off to our trailhead adventure. Reese always makes his way out of the fog and makes adventure crystal clear. And he's done it again this week with an exciting adventure from the trailhead. And we have to thank Rocky Mountain ATV MC for this great story. Well, everybody, it's been a great show, and we've had so much fun today. And I'd really like to thank State Parks, who is with us today, and Kevin Arrington from the wonderful County of Sevier, tourism director and economic developer over there, right? Correct. Yep, and these guys over here. <laughs> from the other show. From that other show. <laughs> it was <laughs> a lot of fun, though. It, it was. was. So we awesome. had a great time today. Time. So remember that you need to get outdoors and create your own adventures at your leisure. We'll see you next time. When we come back, we'll have more product reviews. That, that, I blew that on the end. Totally. And Steve's gonna, oh my God, I can't do it. I, 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 I know, I, I'm like, I don't know what is going on. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're gonna wanna watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna wanna like it, you're gonna wanna share it, and you're gonna wanna subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna wanna do, click, right? Click, click, click. Click on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.